what is going on youtube jay here from mj tech today coming just like the title says with the not the clone of the iphone 13 pro max now i picked this up directly from the store and that's because it wasn't available for shipment here at my doorsteps on time so yes it's been a very long day i went to work of course I got off work came here got ready went to the mall and picked this baby up now the major disappointment that I have here is that well for the first time in my channel in about 12 years that I've been making videos I don't have the replica before the release of the original one and it has to do because of customs and also because the Chinese did delay it a little bit so I wanted to bring you the replica as well just so that you can know what it looks like and beware out there guys remember these videos or for educational purposes and not a promotion of a replica. You have to be careful because a lot of people do order them with the intention to sell them to you as original. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and check and see what we have inside of this bag. It took me quite a while. The line was very, very long today. Even though I was in the pickup section, it took roughly about an hour almost just for me to get inside of the Apple store and of course pick up this iPhone. So I got what they call the Sierra Blue. And uh, I gotta say, it's a gorgeous phone. I saw it already in person. And so right here, we can see it. We have the information of the iPhone right there. I got the 512 gigabyte model. This is the unlock version of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I traded in my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Unfortunately, I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison. I wish I had, like I said, the replica but it's on the way and pretty soon we're gonna get a very similar color to the Sierra Blue as well. And just for those who like uh, accessories like I do, I got this little spigeon case and this is for the 13 Pro Max and what I like about them is that they expose the Apple logo and with this blue color, I think it's gonna look very attractive. So in case you guys wanna check it out, I have left the link down below, of course. And yes, I got some tempered glass, even though this thing has a very durable glass, well, I still want to protect it just to preserve the value. We know that the better the condition of the iPhone, the more you can sell it later on. So there we go, I just broke the seal in front of you guys. Let's go ahead and see. I know that at this point, we have seen a lot of videos on the unboxing portion of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. We have seen many videos out there, but I just wanted to give you my little insight about what has happened with the replica. So just to go a little further on the story, about a month, a month and a half ago, I did uh, get contacted by my source from China. This is an individual person that usually uh, finds the replicas uh, for me. And it's more like a favor. They don't really sell the replicas. They just help me find it. Like I said, it's a known person in China that uh, helps me find it. And that person was able to find it. They shipped it and it just has taken way too long for me to receive it. At this point, I think that custom seized it. And that's why you guys didn't see that portion of the uh, video which again is the unboxing usually in hands-on of the replica but instead we are going here with the real one first and like I said in a few days I should be able to get my hands on the fake one I gotta say that first impressions this thing is actually quite heavy to the hand it's definitely heavier than my 12 Pro Max that I just let go a couple of minutes ago and so this one is just beautiful I really don't have to mention this you know that iPhone designs are you know kind of unique and they are easily known for that but yes this is again another beautiful piece of art in my opinion here we have the lightning uh, cable with the manuals and of course we don't get the charger that's why you see the charger back here I went ahead and purchased the 20 watt power adapter just because the other one got ruined so that's all we get inside of the box here let's go ahead and check these cases and in the meantime let's go ahead and turn on this device of course we have that 6.7 inch display with a much smaller notch here on the front side of the device and for those of you who hate the notch um, i gotta say i don't hate it personally but it's always on the way and i wish that it could disappear and bring back the battery percentage at least now i think that they could have done it just because now we have 
uh, you know more space here on the sides of course so again beautiful beautiful some of the highlights that i like about the iphone 13 pro max is that first of all now it has 120 hertz display at least for the pro models the second it has that super cool macro lens and that third well yes of course it's going to have a bigger battery it lasts about 2.2 hours approximately i think that's what it is so yes it's giving us a lot in my opinion so here again we have the uh, screen protectors but i just want to go ahead and check out that case real quick and just for the hell of it i'm going to try and see if the Antutu benchmark is available on ios i think it is because i know for android they eliminated it so i have to go directly into the browser and download the apk for android but i think that here is available at the apple store but check this case out and it's super affordable i think this one is only about ten dollars or twelve dollars i can't recall but the link has been left down below it does have a little stand here for movies of course very cool and it doesn't feel that uh solid like it feels like a rubbery material on the back side it's nice and soft and it's not very thick i hate thick cases but this one promises to protect your phone from drops up to two meters i think it is again check the link down below and there we go that thing looks super cool check that out guys black with a combination of blue i think it's a gorgeous combination and of course, later I will be uh, putting on the uh, temper glass here. So right now what I'm going to do is do the complete setup and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so here we have the iPhone all set up and almost ready to go. I am still downloading all the applications from my backup. So this is gonna take a while. But right now I want to show you here something very cool and that has to do here with the camera, one of the coolest features right now so uh, let's see photographic styles uh, we're gonna do this later for right now I just want to try that ultra macro lens capability check that out guys look how small these letters are first of all even my camera here has a hard time focusing it and I'm talking about the corner here the uh, left hand side corner you can see that this is very hard to read so now of course i'm going to use here the iphone 13 pro max to focus on this and it does it automatically check this out let's go ahead and take a picture of this i can even get closer and it still focuses even with the poor light right now since i have the phone on top of it so check this out guys this is absolutely insane look at that all the details even the cardboard of the box you can see the little pores the little imperfections check this out this is absolutely insane and like i said this is just one of the features that i truly liked from what i saw on the apple presentation and other reviewers out here so again this is just a few things uh, that i already mentioned like the 120 hertz display you can definitely see it maybe not through the camera but when you have the phone in person you can definitely see it here a little bit when you're scrolling the um the writings the letters they don't blur out as you are scrolling you can still read them if you follow the letters you can still read them but before with the uh, 60 hertz display that was a little hard to do so again everything is a lot smoother we get better battery of course better processor pretty much better everything and again i do appreciate that they had decreased the notch already so let's go ahead and check here the Antutu and this did download already so i'm going to go ahead and kill all the applications and just for the hell of it i'm going to perform this Antutu benchmark just because i want to see the score that's all it is so here we go it says start testing let's start it right now
already guys so check out this score 726,000. that's absolutely insane and i am not comparing it here to android devices to make it fair on the rankings uh, this is all apple devices or apple products right here and number one we have the ipad pro 5 and this phone ranked at let's see here I don't see it yet look at that just below maybe i have to test it again but an iphone 12 pro max beat it but that all depends on what the phone was doing right now we have a whole bunch of applications downloading and whatnot but yes we did rank right below the iphone 12 pro max as you guys can tell we are number nine right here but again these are definitely great scores and i usually do it just as a reference this doesn't mean that the device is performing worse than the iphone 12 pro max or better this just means that well i use it as a reference as a score based on the application only so with this being said i think that now we have completed here the unboxing and the first impressions of the iphone 13 pro max so far guys i gotta say that it looks quite promising based on the test that i did at the apple store itself i love this case let me know what you guys think of it down below it's super affordable and it looks very cool and protective as well i just added my screen protector also again all this has been provided down below don't forget to like the video subscribe for more share the video and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this Hopefully, I'll get the replica very shortly, and that video will come next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.